just move your charisma around to the front a little more, Miss Novel. <laughs> like this, Miss Cooper. That super. So, tell me, what age do you people so young? Oh, well, of course, I believe in natural country things, you know. Milk baths, cucumber salves, honey and wholemeal poultices, and, of course, the plasterer that comes in from Taunton twice a week. That's <laughs> right. No, it isn't. No, 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 it isn't. How's it all coming along, by the way? Oh, well, I've, I've put in all the full stops and the capital letters to kind, kind of block in the sentences, and then using that as a framework for the article, I'm now building up the words in alphabetical order. Very methodical. <laughs> when did you first decide to become a trendy pseudo-intellectual writer, then? Oh, very <laughs> young, you know, at Bromley Infant School. At every lunchtime, my friends and I used to gather in a corner and play Let's Be Pretentious. Later <laughs> <laughs> really on, there. You know, I was the first girl to get puberty. My mother got it for me specially from Harrods. <laughs> it was around then that I decided that I, I wanted to write amusing articles for the newspapers. I'm sure someday you will. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, what was the biggest influence in your life? Well, I suppose the most important inspiration in my life, really, was me. I'd always admired myself enormously ever since I bought the magnifying mirror. How did you begin your career as a romantic novelist? Well, I was staying with a young gentleman in Switzerland. Everything was perfectly proper, of course. We had separate Alps. And then one night I was looking out of the window and I saw the pale moonlight glimmering on the incandescent beauty of the pure white snow. And it was this scene that moved you to write? No, it was the unadulterated slush left the next morning. Oh, I see. Of course, I've always gravitated to the really more romantic aspects of life. Every Christmas, I tell my grandchildren that Santa Claus comes down the chimney of the stock exchange to pay up gross dividends on their unit trusts. Yes. Well, really, that was why I decided it was so appropriate to do this article on you here, inside your dustbin. Quite. The wallpaper is really rather unusual. Oh, well, now, I chose that to match the Baroque style of my kitchen pedal bin. In fact, all the rubbish in here has been specially designed. The Fabergé eggshells, the Saint Laurent tea bags, and the Gucci potato peelings are all I tend to use in here, really. All the other refuse might just as well be thrown away. That would account for this rather unusual sculpture here. Oh, that's just an old Rodin head. We get through quite a few of those when people come round. Sadly, all these decorations will soon be lost to view, I'm afraid. Oh, why is that? Well, I've decided I must move with the times and get myself a bin liner. It should be here any moment. Ah, oh, here it comes.